Where are we today? We are in Bluefields on the south coast of Westmoreland. And Bluefields is one of the oldest settled areas in Jamaica and was built by the Spanish in the 17th century. After the expulsion of the Spanish by the British, the city dwindled, but the bay was still used especially by pirates. Nowadays, the bay is still being used by beachgoers and fisher folk alike. In spite of its intriguing history, most Jamaicans immediately associate Bluefields with the crystal clear beaches set against lush rolling hills. The community has attracted many notable individuals over time, including Sir Henry Morgan, who gathered his fleet here for the invasion of Panama in 1671. It was also the home of British watercolor painter William Fielding. The Bluefields community is a popular destination for locals and tourists year round. Have you ever been on a road trip and almost every point when passing a particular spot you come to, you want to stop? Well, this is the vibe you get when going through blue fields. It's strange to explain, but let me try. It's like a combination of you being hypnotized and at the same time, a yearning to know more about the place. It's not too overpowering, but you get this energy exuding from blue fields. Bluefields Beach Park is one of the most famous beaches in Jamaica. On weekends and public holidays, the park comes alive with the delightful smells and sounds of family picnics along with reggae music playing in the background. About one kilometer in length, the beach is remarkable and large enough for everyone to enjoy his or her own space to relax and socialize on the powdery white sand are in the clear warm water. The place is absolutely pristine and beautiful. Food vendors ply their trade by the beach, many specializing in freshly caught fish, but chicken and pork are also available. The area is also a well-known place to buy locally made hammocks alongside other things. When journeying through blue fields on our way to somewhere else, you have to just hold your head straight and focus because before you know it, you'll be stopping and changing off and diving into those beautiful waters. You'll spend all your money on seafood, you'll relax in the hammocks provided and you'll bask in the sun and then you'll remember you were supposed to be somewhere else. That's the magic of blue fields. Stop by and get hypnotized by this beautiful place. Check out Blue Fields Beach for an authentic Jamaican beach loving experience. In the small community of Belmont Falls in the Bluefields area lies the Peter Tosh Memorial. Peter Tosh, world-renowned reggae artist, outspoken and militant poet and songwriter, was one of the original whalers who shared Bob Marley's initial rise to fame. Tosh spent his early years in the community before moving to Trenchtown in Kingston where he met Livingston, Bonnie Whaler, and Bob Marley, when the three combined talents to form the Whalers. His mother and stepfather still share a humble house behind the memorial. 
a small open building containing Tosh's tomb and some memorabilia can be found there. So there you have it. Thanks for visiting with us. And again, stay tuned for more interesting facts while traveling Jamaica land we love. See you soon.